Here it is Friday at uh, Gerald, Texas at Bar 111 Knives. And, and folks, I got a neat little old knife here I made for a fella. He uh, needed something he could cut sacks open with and uh, maybe do a little caping on some deer and some bear and he needed a good caping knife. And so he wanted one he could kind of choke up on the blade with and you can see right here, you can choke up on this little blade, this little dude right here and not cut too deep kind of made a little different uh, but uh, this is what he wanted it's a I think this knife right here is going to be a cape and fool so ladies if you got a man out there that's a kind of interested in taxidermy and and he wants to try to do a little taxidermy work can you imagine or one of you ladies want to try to do a little taxidermy work and you got this knife in your hand and you want to get up there around the base of them horns and and around them eyelids and them ears, put them lips. By golly, this one's gonna be just the thing for you. Uh, I like it, it's kind of a Warren Cliff type blade on it. But boy, you can choke up on this little dude right here and you could get right in there and just kind of work around things real that nice and easy with it. And you're gonna look like a million dollars, ladies, if you got this knife in your hand and you're gonna show him a man of your life how to cape one out. He's going to be impressed and he's going to know he don't know anything and he thinks that knife's going to be the key to his success in taxidermy business so he's going to try to steal that knife from you so you better watch him because he's going to want to get it that's for that gum sure but anyway you folks let me know what you think stay cool out there by the way uh that's white oak on the handle out of a 250 year old tree uh been stabilized but by golly it's sure pretty let me know what you think i always enjoy hearing from you it's Bar 111 Knives, making America beautiful and sharp, one knife at a time. See you now. Bye.